If the damage isn't too great, with a little care and attention to detail, you can do your own repairs to scratched or marked duco and save yourself a heap of money as you do so. Just remember, as with any paint project, preparation is the most important part of the job. You've got to have good ventilation because no paint is meant for breathing and make sure you take your time. Mistakes will last and last. Here's exactly how you do it. As outlined in the dent repair section of this CD, ensure the area to be painted has been prepared by fine sanding and feathering the repair edges. Clean the area to be painted with wax and grease remover with a clean dry cloth and wipe off with a second clean dry cloth. This removes any bitumen, old car polish, sanding dust or any other contaminants. Using masking tape and paper, mask off the area surrounding the repair to stop overspray on any body trim, wheels or glass before applying a primer. Primer Surfacer provides minimal filling ability and usually requires a spray putty or blade putty to further fill the repair area. However, three to four coats of Primer Surfacer is acceptable for filling minor repairs. Primer Filler is considered a two-in-one product, providing both priming and filling in the one step and does not always require an application of spray putty or blade putty. An average of three to four coats of Primer Filler will be required if putty is not used. Spray putty and blade putty provide maximum filling, but do not adhere to bare metal and require a coat of primer surface or primer filler prior to and after their application. Spray putty and blade putty both require two to four hours to dry before sanding. For this repair demonstration, we've chosen to apply Septone's primer filler. Apply three to four coats of primer filler over the repaired area and onto the existing painted surface by a minimum of 50 millimeters allowing five minutes drying time between coats. Apply a mist coat of matte black acrylic paint over the primer. This is called a guide coat. It assists the repairer to know where they have sanded and it identifies any low areas that may require further filling. Allow primer to dry for one hour before sanding with 600 to 800 grit wet or dry sandpaper. Wipe the surface clean before washing finally with wax and grease remover. Apply four to five coats of the finished colour, allowing drying time of approximately five minutes between coats, and allow the final coat of paint to dry for a minimum of 24 hours. Remove any dust or overspray from the newly painted surface by lightly sanding with 1200 grit wet or dry sandpaper. Buff the area with Mr Buff cutting compound by hand or machine polisher fitted with a lamb's wool or foam buff pad. Wash and chamois and polish the whole vehicle to complete the job.